Hey y'all, so I got this trainer's toolkit I wanted to do an unboxing of. <clears throat> it's been on my Amazon uh, wish list for a minute and I wanted to get it and see what it was all about as I get super into uh, Pokemon, especially the trading card game lately. Um, so I got it from Amazon, it was $28 and it comes with... 150 sleeves, four booster packs, which contain 10 uh, Pokemon cards each, 65 sleeves, no, 150 cards, yeah. Two books, some uh, damage dice, and poison or health counters. There's the side, and you've got the back, um, and the front. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. I thought it would, it's like, it's like, uh, light cardboard. I thought it would be hard cardboard. Uh, I haven't ever gotten any of those other uh, trainer boxes like the Sword and Shield one. So that's what I thought this would be like. Um, but it's not. So included in this, you get, um, it says, uh, more than 100 energy cards, including special energy for Pokemon TCG booster packs, 65 card sleeves to protect your deck, a deck builder's guide, a uh, TCG rule book, oh, that's that's nice, a uh, set of uh, seven tournament dice, uh, two condition markers, and a code card. So let's just go ahead and get to opening. I do want to get all the um, trainer packs, um, the elite trainer boxes, that's what they're called. So it's a slide in or out, I believe it's, I'm not sure which way it goes. So it kind of just pulls out, uh, that's see through. It's pretty big, uh, it's about, I have a ruler right here, nine and a half inches long by three inches deep and about four inches tall it's pretty big so and then it unhinges trainers to lock that's what the side and the back look like okay so it is more of a better box okay cool this is one really flimsy i thought it would be like flimsy but no it comes in an actual cardboard box so first up, we've got our tournament die uh, and a six-sided. I'm going to open that up. Here's the six-sided die. It's kind of got this nice glittery sparkle to it. And you've just got your uh, what is that? six, yeah, six uh, damage counters. So you've got the dice. And you've got your two uh, poison tracker and burn marker tracker, which is helpful. Because if it's any of the other conditions, they turn a specific way, um, from what I remember. Okay. Alright, the TCG packs we have are... Unbroken Bonds, ooh, a Sword and Shield, a Rebel, and two Rebel Clashing. You can, uh, if you look at one of my old, uh, my past video, I did a opening of fake booster packs, um, and I can already tell the difference of, like, the, these are real, between the real booster packs and fake booster packs. Um, if you want to go see that, check it out, it's on my channel. Um, or if you have any questions about how to tell if uh, Pokemon cards are real or fake, just let me know down in the comments below. So we'll set that to the side to open up later. Got these two little books, which is super convenient. A deck builder's guide. There's so many ways to build your deck, like depending on what method you want to go. Um, it just kind of ranges, so that's pretty good. And then the rule book, which is super helpful, especially for beginners. A little flip through. Super tiny. Um, and then you've got your sleeves. So that's what that is. And there's 65. So it's good just for if you want to have one deck. Um, and just leave your cards. This is what I'll do. I currently have a grass deck that I'm working with right now. Uh, so I'll be putting my grass deck cards in here. Um, and it's got, you can see that's the front. It's got the various different energies, which is pretty nice. 
um, and it's not a glossy, it's kind of like a muted um, satin, I want to say. Uh, I have a Pokemon card actually over here. There's 65, so I actually might sleeve my like uh, good ones. So it does leave room you can see kind of at the sides and the top that it's like perfect so it'll protect your cards um it does have uh this uh the it's not see-through all the way so that's kind of something that if you're looking for see-through i would order a different pack if you're fine with it being kind of matted and sometimes you can't uh look at what the words say you have to like flatten it out um then that's what that does so you get 65 of these, super cool, I like the colors a lot. Get my coat card out of here. And then you've got, ooh, I wanna say this is, these are 50 useful cards on top of the booster pack. And then you've got uh, 100 energy cards. So let's go ahead, up, go ahead and open up the energy cards. Wish there was like a pulley thing. I think there is actually. Yep, there it is. Maybe. There we go. I love stacks of Pokemon cards. Anybody else? Like they're just so aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> they are not in order. That that that's a little frustrating, but that's okay. Um, I organize mine by order. I'm pretty sure everybody else does. Um, these are the 2020 edition uh, energy cards. They're very matted, actually, compared to... Yeah, they're kind of less shiny. So, this is 2019 Pokemon card, and this is 2020. Uh, you can kind of see the shine is a little different it feels smoother the new cards feel smoother uh, why this has that uh, kind of bumpy micro micro bumps uh, kind of paper feel to it um, they're still the same size though which is nice let's find a psychic card and see if they change that because I know they changed them occasionally um, they did change the look of it just a little bit you can see in the top right corner, um, it changed just just a hair. All right, so you got a hundred energy cards, and it says including special energy. I don't know if it's the this one. It's probably this guy. So let's open up that. Set this box to the side. I'm actually going to put my cards there. It's convenient. It's another box. So, like, uh, I ordered uh, some of these types of boxes actually for my energy cards um, instead of getting a separate binder for them. And I do have another binder coming in. Um, it holds 720, and I have one right now that only holds uh, 540. So, I might do a time lapse of me organizing my. Pokemon cards. I don't know. I just it just seems kind of nice to watch, but that's just me. All right. So these are the. It says it's more than fifty useful cards, uh, and you get two uh, Dedine. I'm, I think that's how you pronounce it. These are Dedine GXs. They've changed it. Um. So let me pull out one of my GXs that I have. Okay, so here's my Blastoise GX. This is the 2019, and I also have a Venomoth uh, 2019 compared to, I don't know if it's an art style change, but it's a different kind of holographic. It's got uh, like micro like bumps on it, and it's got different textures. You can see it's like got that matte, while this one's that super glossy. It's still hollow in a way, but not like the not like these. So we've got two Dines. Got a lot of trailers, uh, speed and special energies kind of mixed up in here, which is nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have every trainer card, 
So you've got some tag teams, uh, just rares. Do I have a lot of uncommon cards? Uh, here's one that so says it's a rare. And you can tell by the symbol down at the bottom right there. Uh, if it's uncommon, rare, or common. This one says it's rare. Interesting. And it's it looks like it's a mix of 2019 and 2020. Um, not patent. 2020 copyright. There. I'm actually going to put my other cards that I've gotten recently in here as well, just so that they're not out um, in the open until I, uh, whenever I get around to organizing them. Alright, now it's time to open up these bad boys. They're thick. They're very compact. Which is kind of nice. Alright, so first up we have Unbroken Boz, which I still... Ooh, scary. Um, I still have, I believe these are still available on store. I've got, yeah, I've gotten a few. Here's one uh, that I opened in my Dollar Tree video pack. Um, that's the three cards, and this one has ten. I believe this is, yeah, ten, so it's actually eleven cards. It contains ten and one energy. So let's see what we get. Open up. Ooh. Well, they sealed this really good compared to it, but they have these little holes for ripping. There we go. Alright. Oh, I actually, this is, I believe this is my first real booster pack, so I actually get a code because I do play TCG online. So this is the Broken Bonds. We've got Geodude. Litten. Oh, I thought it was hollow for a minute. Froakie. Crab Brawler. Odish. Odis. Od Odish. And then we have a reverse hollow Odish. That's super cool. Oh, that's that's awesome. Oh, oh, we got a tag team. Reshiram. 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 Uh, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce these right. And Charizard. Oh, wow. That's cool. I've never had a tag team before. I'm super excited to use this. Oh, that's exciting. I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, put these to the side to show my friends. Um, I've been getting really lucky with some pools lately. We've got our energy card. We've got a Chatot. A Lyron. And a Trainer. So that was in our Unbroken Bonds. Uh, our Unbroken Bonds booster pack. Next up, we have our sword and shield. Uh, where's the, the rip? Maybe. Oh, hard to open. Jeez. Ah! Oh, there we go. Alright. Put my code card away. We've got a Krogunk. A Silicobra. Minchino. Vulpix, Amuna, a Reverse Hollow Rotom Bike, I don't know if you can see that, nice, trainer card, a Dreadnaw, a Grass Energy, a trainer card, a trainer card, and a Haunter, very nice, very nice, very nice, I mean, so we've gotten some Reverse Hollows and some Hollow, we even got, not. Uh, we haven't gotten a Hollow yet, we got a Reverse Hollow and we got a GX, so that's pretty exciting as well. Alright, on to our next one. This is the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash uh, expansion. Let's see. They don't give me a trademark for when this was released. They Where's the hole punch? They typically, I've noticed, they put in these little hole punches. So it's easy to open. I guess not. Yeah, not for this one. We gotta open it like a snack. Oh, I don't want to bend my cards. Oh, there we go. Ooh. It just slides right on out. No, maybe. No, oh, okay. Let's see. There we go. This is the Rebel Clash expansion. Put our code card to the side. We've got a. Move these over. 
We have a Phantom, a Farfetch'd, a Squobit. I keep getting a lot of these in the Pokemon Sword, um, which it would make sense since this is the Sword and Shield booster pack. A Mr. Mime, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Caterpie, a Reverse Hollow Trainer Dan, nice, and a Militic V. Wow. So pretty. Yeah, they definitely changed the way that they did these hollows. They're not they're they're different. Yeah, this is 2019 and this is 2020. So they made a they made a change in the sense that it's not all over glossy. It's more this it's got various different textures. Um you can like kind of see like the texture on it. I wonder if they're doing that because there's a lot of uh companies that have been duplicating uh Pokemon cards and it's super easy because it's just the foil. Um like a lot of places and AliExpress and uh but so they're changing the way that they do it. But they're still hollow, but it's not as glossy as you can see. This is the 2019 one, and our Militic V is our 2020. But oh, that's super awesome! An energy card, a Dew Blade, a another energy special, and a Charge Bug. Do I have any special energies? Nope. So far, pretty good. We've gotten a T Tag Team, uh, some Reverse Hollows, and then Milotech V. I mean, so far, I think, personally, I, I'm not much of a collector. I like to, uh, I guess, kind of a collector. Not really. Like, I'm, that's not my end goal. Um, but I would like to have a whole Pokedex that I feel like that's my end goal, uh, especially when it comes to the games. Uh, that's what I've been aiming towards, especially, like, on Pokemon Go. Um, so, uh, next up, we have the last Rebel Clash. We've got the Gro Growlithe, Impidimp. Bunnelby, Phantom, are we gonna get a hollow, Dreepy, a reverse hollow, Halucha, nice, a Skizor, Energy, come on, give me, give me another, Morgrim, Palpitoad, and a trainer. I mean, that's, I mean, still, I got two GXs, now I believe I have, not two, a uh, GX and a V, now I'm pretty sure I have... Two, four, four, uh, uh, maybe eight GXs, hollows. Uh, oh, that's so interesting. Oh, wow. So, and those are those cards. Just gonna pile these up all random. I'm organizing all of these when I get my big binder. So, don't freak out that I'm just stacking them on top of each other. I know, I'm sorry. Oh keep those out um but yeah so that is the trainers toolkit pokemon trading game box unboxing uh so and it comes with five code cards and overall it was 20 dollars for me and I, I got it on amazon prime i believe it was worth it uh i highly recommend it it came with some pretty good picks um and also i've been wanting to get these die um because my friends always forget theirs um so yeah um so thanks for watching i appreciate it if you have any questions or comments just let me know have a good night peace out